in this problem set, uh, it's a compound interest problem. Uh, so here we have the compound interest formula, super important. So notice that A is the final amount. I'm going to put the word final there so you know after all the interest goes in. Uh, P is the principal, which is like the starting amount. The letter R is the interest rate. Now remember, you don't put a percentage in a formula. You always have to convert it to decimals. N is the number of times that it gets compounded. Um, generally, we say per year. Sometimes they say per unit T, but oh, don't worry about that. And T is the time, which is going to be in years. All right. So the first thing I find is <laughs> I usually do a like kind of side here where I just identify what each variable is. Otherwise, I find that I get confused easily. So the how much is the investment worth at the end of 10 years? I don't know. That's my A value, friends. So let's read that. So Carla invests seven grand. Okay. So the amount she started with is seven thousand. So let's put that for P. At an interest rate of four percent. So that word rate tells you that's your R. Remember, write it as a decimal. Compounded quarterly. Y'all, that's the letter N. So remember, N is the number of times in a year. So if it's compounding quarterly, there's four quarters in a year. So then it says, how much is the investment worth at the end of 10 years? So that makes my, te uh, my T 10. That was harder to say than it had to be. Okay, so now that I know what my values are, uh, all that I need to do is plug them into this formula. Now, y'all, you need a scientific calculator to answer this question. If you don't have one, uh, you might find one before the test, huh? So my amount is equal to 7,000 times 1 plus my R, which is 0 0.04 over 4, to the NT, so 4 times 10. Now, I tend to do kind of a cleanup step before I plug it in. All right, we're going to tidy things up. I find, in my experience, that most students are able to do the algebra portion of this. You're able to do the cleanup steps, make things look nice. But you don't know how to use your calculator. Like, straight up, that's the issue. Uh, so make sure, kids, that you know how to use your calculator. Sorry for moving my headset around. All right, so here we go. So to kind of clean up, um, 0 0.04 divided by 4 is 0 0.01. And if you add 1 to that, that's where I get 1 plus uh, 0 0.01. And then up here in the exponent, 4 times 10 is 40. And so now this is in a form that I could plug into my calculator. Um, I am too dumb to show you how to pull up a calculator on this screen, so I'm doing it here on the side. Uh, but I'm just using my standard scientific calculator. So to start out, you do the 1.01, .01 and you raise that to the 40th power. Oh boy, do I even have that button? Do I even have the button? Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, it deleted it. <laughs> oh, I love technology, children. Anyway, so 1.01 .01 to the 40th power, if you're following along, you should be getting 1.488863, okay? Then take that number and times it by 7 grand. So for my A value, I got 10,422.0. It says 046, but that rounds to 05. Because it's money, you need it to have two decimal places. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's try that again, friends. So again, down the side here, I am filling in my values. So Carlos invests $5,500. That's your principal. At an interest rate of 3%, so that's my R, compounded monthly. Y'all, how many months are in a year? 12, right? 
how much is the investment worth at the end of eight years? So that's my time. All right. So now that we have those, we plug into the formula. So I say the final amount equals the principal times 1 plus R over N to the N times T. And then I do a cleanup step, right? So inside the parentheses, uh, 0 0.03 divided by 12 is 0 0.0025. You add 1 to that. And then 12 times 8, oops, not divided by 8, Miss C. 12 times 8 is 96. Now remember, order of operations says you have to do the exponent before multiplication. <laughs> so I'm going to do the 1.0025 to the 96th power and then times that by the 5500. So I have 1.0025. Raising that to the 96th, uh, if you're following along in your calculator, you should get something like 1.27086, yada, 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 times 5,500. So my final amount here, I get 6,989.7, and then it says 7,6, so the 6 rounds it up to an 8.